Hi foodies, how are you? <laughs> this is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk. Look what I got here, foodies. I got me a nice duck. I went to the Vibedo and I got a nice duck. I had it all halal, roast, and cut in two. So now, my dear foodies, you have to go through this duck and you're gonna pull all these fine feathers out. It's already roasted. Um, not roast up to eat like that, like Chinese style. Roast meaning to take the fine feathers and the feathers that cannot come out. That is the roast that they will do for you. And you're going to take your knife and you're going to go through. It's best that you pull these feathers out before you start cutting the duck. So you wouldn't miss any. And what cannot come out, you just cut it out with that skin also. So what I like to do, if you have, I like to bait this duck. You know, cut it out. And start washing the skin because I'm going to leave the skin in 99% in of the meat. I'm not going to pull it out because I like the skin. You see all in here under the under the wing. You see all of this here for these. All of that is feathers. You need to pull all these feathers out. It just burned down to the root. But if you pull, you see it, it comes out. Let me show you another one. It comes out straight out. There you go. You see the size of that. So you really want to pull all of this out. So let me go ahead and pull all the feathers out and then we're gonna take a piece of foil paper and we're gonna give this duck a good wash with some salt and flour. Salt and flour will help clean the skin and disinfect the duck. And then we're gonna cut it up and wash it lime and lemon. So you see, look, all this is those little fine feathers. So let me finish up this duck, my dear foodies, and give her a good scrub and we'll be right back. Okay, foodies, so let's place the duck in here. One, two is fine. Clean the sink. We have all of our disinfectant and everything already. So here I have some flour and I have some Himalayan pink salt. I'm just going to pour it right over the duck. Drop the rest in there. And you have your foil paper here. So you want to disinfect your duck. You want to... Just work up that salt on the skin. We're working on the skin. That is what we're working on, not the meaty part. So just leave the inside of the duck just like that for now. Just rub it up really nicely. I scrape as much as I can. So now we're going to use the foil paper. To, oops, we don't want the meat. Just put it like that, just like so. Sprinkle some flour all over. I'm going to clean the duck because, you know, in the poultry shop, they will, you know, vibedo, whatever you call it, all the duck and the chicken and everything else goes in the same water. I don't know how often they change it. Everything is hidden in the back, you all know that. So there you go, you take your foil, give it a good rub, scrub, get all between the creases there. I try as much as possible to see how much I could retrieve with the knife and scrape it up. Again, just like so. Because as I say, I want to keep the skin. I like the skin of the duck. I don't like to pull it out. Chicken, I may pull it out. Skinless. I know some of you may eat the duck skinless. But it's a, it's a delicacy really for me. The duck, I love duck. So I like the skin of my duck. So that's what you do. You see, give it a good scrub. Don't worry about the sink. We have a lot of disinfectant spray. We're gonna spray and clean. All who thinking about salmonella, uh, bacteria, all those stuff, not a problem. Jenny got it covered. I have bleach, I have everything to clean. So you see foodies, look at that. Are you seeing there? Look, all the fine feathers that was in, under there, the fall paper work really nice. It didn't bruise the skin of the duck. The duck is still intact. And remember, I told you we're really washing the skin. There you go, marvelous. Now, I'm still not going to wet the duck. I'm going to cut up the duck and then we're going to rinse it out and then we're going to use our lime and lemon to finish cleaning up. See, look at that. So you know here at Jenny's Walk, we had to learn, we had to share, we had to create. It's a big one there. So little idea here for you that you could use when next time you're going to be doing that duck and don't get a young duck younger the duck more fine feathers and you don't want to deal with that see all these feathers here and you get them all out look at that isn't that marvelous so let me continue 
Okay, foodies, so here we have the lemon salt. I had some more flour, I rinsed it out, then I put back in here that half a lemon and salt and water in there. I have another half a lemon here. So we're gonna squeeze this half a lemon in here, just like so. Give it a good squeeze, get all the juices out, and we're gonna put some water in here. Just leave some cold water. Now this is the way Jenny's walk do her, her duck. I rinsed this three times already, just with the flour and the salt that we had where we were, you know, chopping and cleaning and doing all those lovely things. So what I want to show to you now, foodies, this is this has been sitting here for five minutes. You see the color of it? I just break up the lemon, get all the oils out of the skin and the juices. This is really full with juice. That's why I put half only and I have the other half there. So for my foodies who are now learning, just take your knife tip. And now you're going to scrape each and every piece, whatever you get, each and every piece of that meat. You see how clean and nice that meat is? And take out whatever fat you want from it. And then you're going to drop it into the other bowl here with cold water, salt, and lime juice or lemon juice. Any amount you want to put, you go ahead. Okay, you just clean. This is a wing part here. Just give it a nice little scrape up. We're going through each and every one. Scrape them up nicely. See what you don't like. See what you like. This is a little bruise it had in there. It's a little hematoma. Some blood is coming out of it. Just scrape it up really nicely. They may have little feathers. The meat is very, the skin is very tough. You see now, this is like a little drumstick, the little leg. They usually tend to have a lot of uh, feathers, fine feathers and that fat. I do not want to take all the fat out. I want to leave a little fat in there. The fat will add a little flavor back into it when you start to curry and have it all fried up. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So this is the way Jenny's walk do it. Don't have it splashing all around. Just gently put them down. Little scrape up again. Everything is clean and nice. That's a little spleen there. You could leave the spleen if you want to take it out. You take it out. There you go. Taste something like the little liver, liver type, you know little scrape so i hope you got the idea here what we're doing so let me go ahead clean this up take all these out if you don't want these things you could take it out just dig it out just like so get it out this is a spleen what is this i don't know what part is that that's in the back you see clean and nice and we just let it soak there for nice little five minutes and then you wash it nicely and drain it. And then we're going to be back to season up this lovely duck here, Jenny's Walk. So don't forget to like and share this lovely video with your friends and family. So let me continue cleaning these pieces. So foodies, here I have that lovely duck all washed clean, nice, soaked, rinsed, feathered out, scrubbed out and everything. So I give it that last rinse in that lemon juice. So now I'm going to let it sit and let all that water drain out properly well. And then I'm going to move to the last step on teaching you how to do this duck. Share with you my ideas and the way I do things here at Jenny's Walk. We will marinate it with some green herbs. So let's wait for another five minutes. Let this drain well. Okay, foodies. So let's take a look now of that duck. Let's pour it out there. That looks marvelous. So now we're going to marinate this duck. I have the liver in here. So you got to be very careful with this. Let's put this on the side. So let's get started now so this is the way jenny's walk do it so here i have some mustard oil i am going to eyeball one tablespoonful of oil mustard oil what oil does it's going to help uh, marinate the meat help break the muscles down and it helps all the flavors to get into the meat so here's some fish sauce i'm going to eyeball a taste a teaspoonful great flavors in there and here I have some ginger garlic paste. Wow, wow, damn, this is very strong. So we're gonna use this to marinate our meat and we're also gonna use this in cooking the meat. So here is one tablespoonful of that lovely ginger garlic paste. If you have fresh one, you could do this is just as well. I absolutely love that. And of course, for these who know, Jenny love her sofrito, here we go. The bandanya, culantro, fine leaf, thyme. I have polina in here. Yes, I do. I pick a few of them from my little tree. I have a nice little plant at my window. And I just blend some up. I did this early this morning. So in goes that. I boil about two tablespoonful of that because you know when you're ready to cook, we're going to be using also some nice fresh herbs. So this is lemongrass powder. 
I'm going to go with half a teaspoonful. My dear foodies, this duck meat is a very gamey meat. Again, this is coriander and cumin. Again, another half. So you want to take that gaminess away, you know. And I just want to add a little touch of the the um, Lala's curry. So I'm going to go with, this is about a teaspoon, two teaspoonful. And of course that hing or asafetus, you know, this is a great meat tenderizer. This is a young duck, I could clearly see that. I'm going with a quarter and a quarter is a half a teaspoonful. I have some garam masala. What you're doing, you're just really infusing a lot of spices into it. One half and half is one teaspoonful of garam. And seeing that we use the lime, I have lime, lemon, you know, I have a lot of these, or do, doTERRA oil. It's very potent, it's very strong, it's lovely, I like it. Give it a good few dashes in there take some of the freshness out you know as i say it's a gamey meat now no salt please no salt what salt will do will break the tissues down and you're going to see a lot of water in your meat and you're going to like where does water come from i drain my meat well so that is where that water will come from so this is going to go into the fridge overnight that is the best way to marinate your meat especially this this gamey meat the tough meat that the seasoning now, this marinade will go into the bone. Really delicious. And I love duck. The same thing you will do with your goat meat also. The bony ones, you know, just have bones. So you let everything marinate well. That mustard oil is awesome. The amchu powder is, uh, I have amchu powder. We're going to use the amchu powder, which is a mango powder, in cooking. I do not want to add it in marinating. Uh, and cooking is better this smells divine and I have a little secret a lot of you know the cooking wine you could use a sake cooking wine you could use wine regular white wine red wine if you have some liquor in the house so in here I have about one tablespoon full you have some punch and rum hmm this smell like white oak <laughs> you have some white oak red label any little rum left in any little bottle anywhere there, just dash some rum, some vodka, whatever. Just about a tablespoon, tablespoonful and a half. That's not going to do any damage. It's just going to help marinate the meat. And as I say, it's a gamey meat. So, you know, it's calm a lot of those gamey flavor out. And there you go. Of course, the feet is for me. Nobody likes that. That is what I like. And that's it. Lovely way here from Jenny's Walk for all my foodies. Uh, you know, we're here to learn, share, and create. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy doing it for you. Lovely duck here, how to wash, clean, chop, scrub, pull the feathers out, bait the duck, whatever. Now you're going to marinate this, and whenever you're ready, you can put them in packages and freeze them in the refriger refrigerator, in your fridge, in your freezer, sorry. Freeze it up for maybe like two, three, I wouldn't say months, maybe like a month and a half to six weeks yeah six weeks yeah that's about fine because you don't want to get freezer burn in your meat but the best thing to do is to cook it fresh that's the way i like my duck overnight from um, marinate and cook it the next day so whatever way whatever style you want to do korma style 65 madras tikka whatever you want to go with it garam regular curry you know you go ahead chatak you know, you go ahead and you curry your duck in a beautiful way and enjoy with your family. I love mine with dal and rice and duck, and I like to use my fingers to enjoy that meal. Marvelous uh, ideas here from Jenny's Walk. Thank you for joining in. Please share, join into my, subscribe into my uh, YouTube and join into Jenny's Walk. Thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.